Hi and welcome to my guide. Today we will be completing the quest tourist trap without the use of energy or stamina potions at 1 agility. There are no quest requirements and stat requirements are 10 fletching and 20 smithing. Items needed. A desert shirt, desert rope and desert boots, a hammer, about 3 bronze bars and 30 feathers. All of these items can easily be bought from Shanty here at the Shanty Pass. For the recommended items, food, armor, weapon and potions to kill a combat 47. There is a safe spot available for mages and archers. Then because this is a desert quest, having about 3, 4 or 5 filled water skins should be enough. And then lastly, have inventory space so you're able to unequip everything except for your desert ropes. And for the teleports, none. We're gonna be starting and ending the quest here just next to Shanty Pass. So what I'm gonna be starting with is training Shanty and buy one Shanty Pass for 5 GP. And with this I have access by clicking on one of the two pillars to go through the Shanty Pass. Proceed regardless and he'll find a crying woman called Irina. Let's talk to her and select option 1, 3, 1 and then 1 again. After speaking to her, let's run south, southwest to the desert mining camp entrance and we can already initiate our boss fight. So be sure that you have brought along your weapon to kill that combat 47. Keep running south until you can't go any further, then simply follow it going west until you see the entrance to the mining camp. Here you'll find a couple of mercenaries and one of them should be called the captain. Let's talk to him and select option 1, 2, 2, 2, 1. After you've selected all of these items, the captain will start attacking you. For the safe spot, you will simply need to talk to any mercenary while he's attacking you. Then stand next to him, then stand next to him north or south from the mercenary, and then the mercenary NPC will act as a block and the captain will not be able to reach you. Simply use your halberd, magic or ranged to kill the captain. After you've defeated the captain, he will drop a key, which will allow you access into the mining camp. And after you've defeated the mercenary captain, oh, the metal key will not be dropped but is inside of your inventory. Next, let's unequip everything except for your desert ropes. Next, right click and search the gate. Click to continue and then open the gate. Next, run east until you hit the eastern wall. There should find some mine and two slaves. Talk to the male one and select option 1, 2, and then 5 times 1. And they will try to unchuckle him, and the success rate all depends on your current thieving level. 
there is a chance that guards will be able to put you in prison. If that happens, then bend the cell wall, then escape through the cell wall, then climb the rocks, then climb the cliff, and then jump off the second cliff to exit the mining camp, and then kill the mercenary once more. Option 1, 2, 2, 2, 1 or something. If you fail, simply try again. Once you have swapped your freshly bought desert ropes for these slave ropes, let's go north and enter the mine door entrance. Once you're inside, click south on your minimap to the next door sign because there is where we'll need to go next. I suggest walking to the southern part of this tunnel because we'll need to run a bit in the desert since we don't have any energy or stamina potions. Running in the desert to avoid the desert heat would be nicer, I think. While you're near the end, there is a level 10 Rowdy Slave. I think he's new. If you're getting attacked by him, simply walk up north and then run quickly to the guards at the end of the tunnel and hopefully he should be stuck somewhere. Next, let's talk to the guards and select option 2, 2, 2. Next, let's walk back up north and let's go back the way we came from. Once you've returned to the surface, let's go back to the mercenary captain that you've just slaughtered. And on our way walking to him, let's unequip all of our slave ropes. Be sure that you've unequipped all three pieces and then open the gate. If not, then you will be put in prison and to exit that prison you will need to bend the cell wall, then escape from it, climb the rocks, climb up the cliff and then climb down the cliff. Once you've escaped from the desert mining camp, let's run west. Keep running west until you hit Bedardin camp. Just south of the general store sign, enter that tent and talk to El Shabim. Select option 1 and then 1 again. And he will hand over his key. Next, let's run back to the mercenary captain and be sure to equip your 3 slave robes and nothing else. With only these three ropes equipped, you will be able to enter the mining camp. Once you've returned inside of the mining camp, be sure to not equip anything besides your slave robes and then enter the only building inside of this camp. 
then climb up the ladder and there should find uh, the captain. First, let's go to the southwestern corner and search the most southwestern bookcase. Next, let's go to the southeastern corner and stand east of Captain Syed. Let's talk to him and select option 1, 5, 3 and then 1. After clicking to continue, let's search the chest just next to you to get the technical plans. Read it, click to continue and then go back downstairs. Next, let's unequip our slave ropes, all three pieces, and let's return to El Shabim in Beredin camp. Once you've returned to El Shabim, let's talk to him and select option 1 twice. Next, let's go north, and just a bit north of the minor oasis, they'll find a tent with a tent door. Let's try to go through it. Next, use your bronze bar on the experimental anvil, and select option 1 to give it a try. If you fail, simply try again. Select option 1. Until you succeed into making some prototype dart tips. Once you got this, let's use this on some feathers. Once again, if you fail, try again. Next, let's walk through the tent door and let's return to El Shabim. And he will give you 6 bronze darts as well as the 10 type pineapple which we were after. So let's return east and let's go back inside of the desert and let's go back inside of the desert mining camp to talk to the guards at the end of the tunnel to give them the 10 type pineapple so we have access to the second part of the mining camp. Once again, be sure that you're only wearing your three slave rope pieces when you are going through the gate as well as inside of the mining camp.
Oh, not again. That rowdy dwarf, that rowdy slave is so annoying. Come on, dude, get stuck somewhere. Ah, oh, you're so annoying. Right, hopefully if we just uh, quickly talk to a guard. Oh, he just simply fucks off once you start talking to a guard, really? Okay then, let's walk through the mine cave to continue with the second part of this quest. Let's continue east until you see a mine cart. North of it, they'll find an empty barrel. Search it to grab one. Yeah, cool. Next, right click on the minecart and search. And depending on your agility level, you will either fail or successfully move to the next section of the mining camp. If you're following Osiris' Iron Man guide, you're doing this at one agility, so unfortunately, your fail rate is higher than your success rate. Right, once we have finally made it to the third section and the final section of the desert mining camp, let's go northwest. Until the end, and here at the end of the northwestern alcove cave, there, in the northeastern corner, you should find a blonde woman called Anna. Do not talk to her and simply use your empty barrel on her. Next, let's return to the minecart. To put Anna in a barrel in the minecart. By the way, if you were to be put in prison in the third section of this camp, you may drop your bronze bars as well as your feathers, those are not needed anymore because you will need 15 empty inventory spaces to be able to exit the prison at the third section of the camp. Next, once Anna in a barrel has left the third section of the mining camp, let's search the minecart and let's move to the previous section. Hopefully we will not fail too often. Once we've returned to the second part of the mining camp, let's search any of the nearby barrels to find Anna. Next, let's go a little bit northwest to the winch bucket. Let's use Anna on a barrel on the winch bucket and select option 1 twice. Yes please. And I said you are very gregarious. Next, let's return to the surface. So first, let's walk through the mine cave just... And then let's take another nice walk up north to the exit.
once we've returned to the surface, let's go to the southwestern corner. I still suggest you to walk this part as we still need to run a little bit in the desert. Oh, there's a guard, never mind. Here in the southwestern corner, let's operate the winch. And after we have done that, just west. And after we have done that, search the barrel west of the winch to find Anna. West of the winch, let's search this barrel to find Anna. Next, let's go to the center of this uh, desert mining camp and use Anna in a barrel on the wooden cart. Once you've done that, click to continue and then talk to the mine cart driver. Select option 2, 2, then 1, 3 tries, One, and then two. Next, right click on the wooden cart and search. Select option one, I will get on. To exit the mining camp with Anna in your inventory. Next, let's run north, northeast, back to the quest start south of Chanty Pass to complete our quest. And congratulations, you've completed the Tourist Trap quest. You are awarded with 2 quest points, 4650 experience that you are able to put in 2 skills, no matter what level they are in, which are Agility, Fletching, Smithing or Thieving. The ability to smith dart tips as well as fletching darts. You now also have full slave ropes which are basically useless so I'm gonna be dropping these. And then also the wrought iron key which allows you access into the mine in the desert mining camp which has several tiers of higher ores inside including mithril and adamant. But that is quite useless in my opinion so I'm also gonna be dropping this. I have now also completed a quest requirement for desert treasure. Alright, this was my guide how to complete Tourist Trap without the use of energy and stamina potions. Hopefully it has helped. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.